we're just leaving the campsite. This road is just challenging enough that it's kind of exhilarating. It's like doing your easy early morning workout. If you want to do this ride, you really need to navigate by GPS track. It's a good idea to have a paper map for the big picture orientation of where you're at. But for these turn by turn directions in the back country on these forest roads, you really need to have your GPS track. Okay, this is really rocky through here. Now it's smoothed out a little bit. It seems like we're kind of out of the mountains. This is a really cool, fun part just because it's so open. You can just see so far away. This is what a BDR is all about. It's about finding these kind of roads. Anyone can drive on them, but there's nobody out here. You're the only one. 20, 30, 40, 50 miles without seeing a single other vehicle on the road. We're in the town of Alcova. And what's really cool about this place is they serve breakfast pizzas inside there. And then the last thing I noticed in there is that they have little Ziploc bags with lunches to go. This is definitely one of those places you're going to stop at when you're doing the Wyoming BDR. Well, this is cool. This is a far more adventurous stretch of road with all these rocks. We definitely stepped up a, a notch in difficulty, another level higher. It just drops off to the right over here. Super cool. Wow. This is something else, isn't it? It's got this rock edge over here that we're riding along. And then it all just erodes down into this broad plain. There's a pronghorn running off to our right. Yeah, look at him go. Oh, yeah. You can see my handlebars here are not aligned at all in a straight line there. They're kind of crooked. Oh. All right, this morning we're going to take a quick little drive through Atlantic City. This is the Miner's Delight. And that's part of where we stayed last night, although we were in the cabins on the other side of the street. And you can see all these old buildings, but on the left here is the Atlantic City Mercantile, and that's where we had dinner last night. T-bone steaks, New York strip, lobster, shrimp. Today, we are going to go through South Pass City, which is an old mining area. Population, four people, three cats, and three dogs. Here's the South Pass City Mercantile. It says Wyoming's first Masonic Lodge and look at the size of that double-barreled shotgun up there. I don't know if that's real or just a joke. Should be a beautiful good day of riding. Let's hope we don't get into any more giant mud puddle tip over adventures. I wouldn't quite say it's a graded road as you can see. There still are some mud holes from the recent rain to pay attention to. Here's some rocks. You can see the lake playing peekaboo through the trees here. We just went over some kind of minor small pass and the road surface has changed. We're at about 9,400 feet of elevation. 
And I will say that it does appear that there are lots of good camping options in this national forest, whether you're in one of the campgrounds that we just passed by the lakes back there or a more dispersed scenario. There's someone in a little RV up on that ridge. And here we go back onto the pavement. It says there's a 6% grade for the next five miles. It's a real nice break from riding in the dirt when you get to find a road like this. Great views, a dozen or so hairpin curves, good asphalt. This is a primo section of Wyoming BDR pavement right here. As short as, as it is, it only takes about five minutes to get down from there, but really one of the best pavement sections on a, on a BDR ever. Okay, now we are leaving Shoshone. We're gonna be taking some back roads up to the town of Tensleep. My goodness, but this is a beautiful evening right now to be riding on this particular gravel road. The road is flat, open, wide, meandering across the landscape. I'm on a motorcycle loaded with food and water and an absolutely beautiful flat road to motorcycle on. This is the definition of a country road. You can see these salt blocks that are left out here for the animals to come around and lick and get their, their minerals. And right now we're coming into, yet again, a different kind of landscape. All of a sudden the rocks got a little bit more red in color. The road is a little more red. Truly for me, this is kind of a feeling of, of like a magical paradise where I can just lose myself for hours on these kinds of roads and this kind of a riding scenario. And look at this now, look at these rocks up ahead. And the road as it just meanders around the mountain here. This is some kind of paradise. Over here we have a livestock area. It looks like some kind of an arena and a corral with some old metal buildings. And here's some wild turkeys crossing the road. Look at that, you see them running up. There he goes, up on the hillside. Look at all these beautiful flowers just off the side of the road. Bright yellow with the black centers. And this beautiful, beautiful country road just heading off into this landscape of green grasses, rolling hills off to the left. And then some pretty dramatic cliffs over there to the right. I'm thinking this over here must be some kind of a little airport because there's a wind sock and a building, it says Norwood International Airport. town of Ten Sleep at the Ten Sleep Brewery. They have these camping grounds outside of the brewery, which is completely awesome. So you can go to the brewery, you can come right here to your campsite. Not exactly roughing it, are we? No. <laughs> and then I believe Cam has to take off and go back to Colorado to finish up some work tomorrow. So I might be on my own for the last few days of this Wyoming BDR, but it doesn't matter because we're out here riding we're out here filming and we're out here 
in this really beautiful part of Wyoming bringing you guys along. So we're going to cook some dinner tonight and we're going to get up and do it all again tomorrow.